Welcome to the Whiskey Vaults. I am Rex. I'm Daniel. He's a level three whiskey smolly. And a cop. I'm a cop now, right? I just need a badge. I definitely didn't do the thing you just saw me do. This is the most illegal episode of the Whiskey Vault. Okay, Eddie Stafford is, is uh, doing a special day for us today. Eddie Stafford. We join the ranks of the blue. Eddie Stafford. Do you need a moment? <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Stafford, you magnificent bastard. Okay, you just, so. feel, you just feel the tension in the air. I know, right? And then let it come back down. So, Eddie Stafford <laughs> said, hey, so I would love for you, I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah. I would love for you guys to review this whiskey from my hometown. Mm hmm. And, uh, and I also wrote up all the facts about the story so Daniel didn't have to research oh. it. Oh. <laughs> That's how you get on Daniel's side. I know. <laughs> no. I did research it anyway. You want to know how you get on my side? Make up all the facts and yeah. have him read them. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So I've been wanting to try Kings County for a while. Wait, they wait, did. Wait, I'm being positive. Go ahead. Yeah, they did. You got this. A peated bourbon, mm -hmm. which I don't have, and I've been trying to get. Okay. But they don't distribute that well because they're small. Sure. Um, this is their essentially this is their uh, peated single malt. Okay. This is actual Scottish or peated malt. Yeah. Okay. Only whiskey made from peated malt. So it's New York Scotch. Yeah. This is the oldest operating whiskey distillery in New York City mm -hmm. uh, since Prohibition. Okay. I love these flask bottles. Founded in 2010. The, originally, they only had five, yeah. like, six gallons, seven gallon stills. And they ran them nonstop seven days a week. 16 hours a this day is not, to try to create whiskey. This is not American uh, whiskey on the nose. This is scotch on the this nose. This is scotch all the way on the yeah. nose, yeah. Now, once they became popular and sort of actually became, like seven days a week, they were uh, They actually moved in 2012 to the Paymaster building in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Right. They've won a ton of awards. Are you going to tell me the batch number? Only because you yeah, asked. son of a bitch. This no. is batch number one. No. Ha <laughs> Good info, bro. Good that was, info. That was a bad high five. Oh, all right, let's Can get, we do it one more time? We gotta make up for it with two. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, one of my friends. Wait, wait, pause it. One of my friends I'm taught positive. me, taught, positive, taught me the best way to do the walking high five. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty flawless. You don't walk, watch the hand, you watch the elbow. Okay. If you're walking towards someone, right. and you only look at their elbow, right. you'll default high, perfect hey! high five. Okay. It's the creepiest thing yeah. ever that it actually works. So here's the thing. <laughs> As a definitively not cool person, <laughs> I have always had the thought of, man, the guys that do like the walking the high, high five. five and then like the chest bump, they just, it's all in like one motion and it's smooth as shit. It's like, I, I can't, I can't do that. I don't, there's, there's some type of dance. There's training that I'm not, <laughs> you gotta watch the, elbow. I haven't been exposed to. Now you know. Yeah. You so watch the elbow. I'm a cool person now. Let's scientifically test this. Second round. Now, of course, even the cool guys, I don't see them going like this at the no, elbow. No, no, you can't make it obvious. You glance to the elbow. I'm just telling you. All right. The perfect high five. Maybe I need sunglasses. You watch the AI. Yeah. So I can see the No, cool guys are always wearing sunglasses. Everyone knows that. That's why. To execute the perfect high five. We've cracked the code. Okay. Are we ready for the next round? These, we got this. These are not mine. We got this. These are We're yours. Doing it. Ready? All right, you ready? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> very sorry, Daniel. It was very totally. What's funny about that is totally accidental. I didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. I was trying really hard. <laughs> trying really hard to get that. Oh, that's awesome. Get that high five. <laughs> very embarrassed. <laughs> So, their stills are from Scotland. Mm. Their wooden fermenters are built by the Isaacs brothers. I just really wanted to do Scotch. They use New York grains. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm loving the smell of this whiskey. It actually, here's what's weird. When I came back to it after a whole high five <laughs> random tangent, I'm actually smelling the smell 
of when I was in 4-H, mm -hmm. and you go into the barn where they're prepping all the animals for the show, and you get the mixture of dirt, hay, and, and fresh animals, but not a ton of poo, but you get a lot of feed. Okay. Right? Dirt, hay, and animal feed. Why are you bringing Westland out? They're not like that. Have you tasted it? Yeah. I was drinking it last night, actually. I finished off a bottle of Westland's Peated last night at my house. You see what I mean? Mm. Mm. Stay positive, Daniel. I want to be a positive woman. Man, Westland's is so good. I gotta try this because I've only smelled it, I've not sampled it. The reason why I pulled out the Westland, the finish on this. On the taste, this doesn't strike me as something super scotchy anymore. On mm. the nose, super scotchy. Yeah, but on the taste, no. On the taste, no. That's gotta be barrels. On what the, barrels are they using? On the taste, this strikes me closer. It strikes uh, me it's, it's closer to a Westland. It's not Westland though. Westland. No, the finish, the almond finish, that um, really yes. Is that yeah. the Westland? I don't know. It's one of them. That's the Westland. No, no, this that's is the, the Westland. This is the Westland, yeah. But notice that sour barn funk. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a sour wood note. But it's not um, off-putting. Some of them are so intensely sour that it turns into like this raw leather funk. It's not that. I really want to try their peated bourbon. We need to get our hands on that. Well, you can try a peated Weston. Okay, we'll try a peated Weston. The peated Weston is magnificent. Dude, I actually dig this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little more sour than I would prefer. A no, a right? little, There's not enough butterscotch a for little, a single malt. A little bit. And I was expecting, based on your, oh, your story, I was expecting something much more scotchy than what yeah, I ended up getting. Me too. On the nose, very scotchy. By the way, Eddie had a, a PS. Yeah, which is pretty important. You ready? Yeah, of course. Yeah. He said, "Hey, I sent you some patches from my job." Yeah. Right. I would love to see them. Job patches. Over here. Where do they get put? Right oh, I put them under my paper. Okay. Oh. Are you ready? Oh! It turns out this is what Eddie Stafford does for a living. Police. He's <laughs> NYPD. <laughs> so, uh, from now on, when I travel to New York. I'm just gonna be wearing this. I think it's supposed to go on the sleeve, not in the front, but I don't have anything to hold it onto a sleeve. Wait, no, I got this. I'm oh, you got in a shirt pocket? If I get pulled over yeah. in New York City, I'm just gonna be like, what's up? <laughs> and then I'm gonna get arrested. It's like, step out of the car, sir. I'm gonna get arrested and beat up. Like, how'd you get that pass? person. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like, but it was Eddie! Call Eddie! <laughs> Call Eddie somebody! <laughs> Eddie, the guy who stole all yeah. our badges? They're like, sir, there's like 10,000 of us. <laughs> like, I'm, we know a lot of Eddies. Thank you. And I'm gonna find the one guy that Eddie Stafford pissed off. Right. And he's gonna be like, oh, I've been waiting for this moment. Freaking Stafford. I'm like, no, I know Eddie Stafford. He'd be like, Stafford, the worst. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> Timothy Rice, sometime in the future, I'd love to hear which whiskeys you two drink most often. What is your house always stocked with, and what do you go to most often each evening? Do you need a moment? I have an answer for this. Good. Okay, so uh, because of what I do for a living, I actually don't have one that I just try to always keep in the house. Mm -hmm. My goal is to always have some whiskey at the house, and it's usually only two or three bottles. Mm -hmm. Um, but as soon as they're empty, I replace it with something totally different because I'm always trying to have something different. So I can tell you what is in my house right now. Okay. I just finished off Westland Peated Malt. Sure. Bunnehaven 12. Uh, what's the, my favorite, um... Kalila? No, Fetter Cairn. Fetter Cairn Fior. Fior. Yeah. And Lagavulin 16, because, right. you know, Lagavulin 16. And Sexton Irish Whiskey. So, yeah, I got it. I got uh, several whiskeys. It takes me quite a while to get through a bottle, actually. And you said go to bottle. It changes month to month, but I will tell you, we reviewed the Sexton Irish whiskey. Yes, we did. And I mentioned this to you, and I also, mentioned, I also mentioned it in the tribe whenever somebody brought it up. Sexton, during the review, didn't blow me away. Yeah. It was just perfectly nice. Perfectly nice, but. Just sort of the goal. But I found. To be perfectly nice. I found myself. Uh, at home, going back to the Sexton time and time again you as, a, funny as, my wife as a background thing. whiskey. Yes. And the in the review, it's like, ah, oh, it's just it's not going to change. You know, it's not going to change my life. It's not going to rock my world. But I don't think it's necessarily trying to. Just to be like a nice daily whiskey. It's it's I'm um. First. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's nice, but it's not boring. So, yeah. My wife. I'm often going to the Sexton at least same right now. Thing and because we already did a review on this. Right. We're not going to do it again. Sure. But Everett Donegan sent us another sexton. Everett Donegan, you magnificent bastard.
we got like several of these. Songs. We have now like four of them. I'll take. Them. But the last one was emptied. So, uh -oh. so Everett I'll Rex take. just took home your Sexton donation. Right. You're very magnificent. Uh, Charlie G. Haig, I have a better coworker mm. uh, with a coworker I need to. He says that he read an article recently that said most Kalila uh, is used for blending and things like Johnny Walker, and it's actually unpeated. Mm. Uh, to me, knowing they use Kalila specifically for the smoke flavor in Johnny Walker Double Black, it sounds completely ridiculous. He swears by it and believes it, even though I told him the article could be uh, full of <laughs> Can you confirm this either way? So we, we discussed this in the comments, and uh, the depressing thing is Charlie is sort of right, sort of wrong. Okay. They're both sort of right. Oh, that's the worst. I did not realize this. You need this. somebody to be all the way right. I know. Until I researched it, I didn't realize this, but did you realize that Kalila produces an entire line of unpeated whiskey. Hmm. And it's almost exclusively created for blending companies. Interesting. So Kulila, the peated whiskey, yeah. is creating an unpeated line for blends. Now, they also contribute a lot of their peated blend to, bl or peated whiskey to blends. Sure. So it depends on the whiskey whether the Kulila they used was Peated or not. Yeah. Uh, at one point, they finally released an unpeated Kulila 15. You're rocking the show, by the exclusively way. Exclusively from Kulila. Just, I'm, I'm which just, I haven't been able to track I'm down. I'm basking in the moment. I know. Oh. High five. God. Amazing. That was a fucking elbow shot right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it turns, I mean, I, I really want to try Kulila unpeated. I, so if we're not, uh, well, we will have a distillery. Yeah. Probably gonna order like a truckload of this. Though. Yeah, and you can't call it scotch because once it leaves Scotland, not in a bottle, it's illegal to I'm call it scotch. I'm telling you, now. it's a new category called scum. Scorch. <laughs> scorch. <laughs> Scotchy scotch scotch. Scotchy scotch scotch. <laughs> All right. All right. I think we're good. Thank you, Eddie. This yes. is awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for free. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. You drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the whiskey vault. Don't forget to throw in a like. Hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below. <laughs>